Hello, Galena family. Sorry about the audio. I know it's not great, but hopefully it will be okay. I'm going to try and try to fix it, make it a little bit easier. Um, the purpose of this video is to show you guys how you're going to be able to install Air Parrot 3 onto your laptop and how to use it. So Air Parrot 3 is our software that we purchased in order to help us display our projector on our projectors what we've got on our laptops through our Apple TVs. All right, so in order to install the software, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the Start button. You're going to see all your apps. You're going to scroll down to a folder called Microsoft Endpoint Manager, and then inside of there, you're going to select Software Center. Software Center is actually where the district puts all of its software that we have access to that you can easily download. This is stuff like Active Inspire, the Active Drivers. Um, you can actually go through here and see all the things that exist in here. But the one we're looking for right now is this Air Parrot 3 right here. When you click on Air Parrot 3, you're going to see this uh, install page. And all you do is click install, follow the prompts, and you're going to be able to install the software with this endpoint manager. Now you're going to notice here it's going to have information about kind of the info here. In the email that you got this video in, you're going to find the license key. And all you're going to do is use that license key, copy and paste it in so that you have full access to the software, since we did, in fact, pay for the software. Once you have it installed, it looks like this guy right here. It's a little parent. You're going to open it by double clicking it. Or you could add it down to your bar in the bottom. I like to have it down here just because then I have easy access because I'm going to be using it. And I did last year at the very end of the year, uh, using it every day because this is what I'm using to project to the, uh, to the screen instead of using, you know, cables and all that nonsense. So once you get into here, the first thing you're going to want to make sure you do is connect to your Apple TV. Your Apple TV should be set up in the manner of GHS and then the room number. You're going to find that and connect to it by selecting it. Now, when you set up your Apple TV, one of the things that I highly recommended was setting up a passcode so that only you could connect. So when you click on this for the first time, it's going to ask you to put that password in. For me, it's not because I've connected to this like a million times already. Now, what's really cool about this is you can pick what you want to display. So for instance, I use two monitors. So I have a second monitor that's attached to my laptop so that I can have two screens. Um, so I can pick which monitor I want to be displaying on the board at that time. So I could select display two and it switches over right automatically on the board. You can also select this extend desktop. And what this does is it basically makes your projector screen an extra screen for you. And so if you wanted to have your main screen like what we have here and then have a secondary screen, but the secondary screen is what's on the projector. You can also select just to open a specific application if you just want to share an application on the board. So if I wanted to just show the calculator, I would, click, I would select the calculator and it's going to have to be open, of course, but it'll open the ca uh, calculator app and then it will only display the calculator app on the board. This is great if you just want to show like the web page so you only show Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. You can also choose to just do audio if you just wanted to play music or something like that. And last but not least, you can select media if you wanted to play a video. You could find the video if it's a file and display it right up on there. Now, if you want to freeze your screen, so maybe you want to put up something on a PowerPoint, but freeze it and then move forward in the PowerPoint on your own screen, you just select the little pause button, and that's going to pause whatever's on the board. If they're no longer going to see any changes that you make because it's paused, just like when you uh, select the freeze button on your projector, it freezes it. Whenever you're ready to go back, you just press play. Then when you're done, when you don't want to display it at all, you just hit the power button and it will disconnect. Your Apple TV will go back to whatever the Apple TV's main screen was. And if you ever want to reconnect, you hit your, your room. It should bring the room that you should, uh, connect to right up to the top, which is super convenient. Now, if you don't want to have this display open all the time, just minimize it. You don't exit because if you press X, what it's going to do is it's actually going to give you a warning dialog, maybe. It's freezing up a little bit on me, but it'll give you a little warning dialog saying this will close all connections. Are you sure? If you don't want to do that. You want to hit minimize so that it stays down here in the bottom tray where you can access it again if you need to, but you don't have to. So this... Uh, is pretty straightforward and simple on how you're going to use Air Parrot and how you can now take your laptop anywhere in your room 
and display to the projector or take your laptop to another room and connect to that projector through the Apple TV.